we baked a couple of um, more traditional uh, things. So we made this Karelian pasties and vatruska. I will show you how to make uh, this vatruska. This is only mashed potatoes. So you just add uh, two eggs. And then I put some flour, uh, mm -hmm. three deciliters, just normal flour, and some salt. Maybe one, a little bit more than one. Mm -hmm. Vatruska has become actually more popular nowadays, and people have developed different kind of recipes uh, with this, so that uh, you can fill in uh, with um, feta cheese, or some okay. chopped onion, mm -hmm. or uh, some ham, or whatever you like. And, mm -hmm. And then uh, I fill this uh, in with uh, just uh, some boiled rice. And then I just close it with mm -hmm. finger, like this. Mm -hmm. And that's it. There is, uh, it's always, the, how to say, the stereotype of the Finnish people, that if you come from the West Coast, you don't talk that much, you are a bit <laughs> colder. <laughs> if you come from the middle of Finland, you are told to be a bit slow. <laughs> and uh, if you come from the eastern part, so then people are more like warm-hearted and talking and much more sociable. Next I want to show this other uh, very typical one, this Karelian Pirakka, Karelian pasties or Karelian pies. So first you take uh, cold water. The most common is, uh, of course, tap water or you can order it in Helsinki restaurants as a Helsinki water. Mm -hmm. So um, it is very uh, clean and uh, very good mm -hmm. quality water. We drink a lot of milk, also adults drink milk with lunch or with dinner, it's uh, completely normal. And one curiosity is that um, for our milk, uh, vitamin D is added always okay. because we have long winter and uh, not much light during the winter time, so we don't get enough vitamin D. Even if we don't grow coffee in Finland, uh, we, have the, um, we have the highest consumption of coffee in the world. And the most of the coffee we drink is filtered. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the average consumption is uh, four to six cups per day. This is normal uh, rice porridge. I just put um, some rice to a boiling water for a while and then added milk and let it um, be there for around 30 minutes, mm -hmm. stirring in between. And then added some salt and mm -hmm. that's all. The school food is an important factor because we have had uh, a uh, free uh, meal for the school children since the beginning of the 20th century. So also. every kid is yeah, sponsored by the state actually? The yes, state yes, yes. Uh, for those who are only eating uh, vegetarian food, there is always a vegetarian option. Every uh, student gets at least one uh, uh, year uh, teaching in the home economics. So they learn the basic facts about cooking and baking and oh, taking care of their own clothes and cleaning. It is compulsory during one year, it is two hours per week, uh, but uh, after that it is voluntary for two years. And it's very popular actually, this home economics. We prepared uh, fish soup, this is a creamy fish soup. This is very typical Finnish food. Today it was made of salmon, which is maybe the most typical one. It was a surprise, uh, at least for me, when I moved to Slovakia, that yeah. uh, Slovaks usually eat uh, first the soup and then the meal. Yeah. But and we have only the, the soup. A bigger is portion. It like and richer, probably. Yes, yeah. it's richer and it's much bigger portion. And we eat also uh, meatballs, for example. It is uh, coming from the Sweden, even if we call them Finnish meatballs, not Swedish. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, uh, in the the menu there is more and more vegetables and all different type of berries. Also mm -hmm. excellent uh, strawberries that are the sweetest in the world because of the very short summer. We have these um, nightless nights, so we have lots of light there. A short, long period, but lots of light and that affects to the, also to the taste of the food we have. As a dessert we made uh, oven pancake. We consume less uh, sugar and, uh, and we don't have this um, huge variety of the different type of um, cakes that you have. And what are the favorite children's sweets in your country? 
my kids love chocolate. Mine as well. <laughs> Mine as well. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that has something to do with chocolate they like. Mm -hmm. But we try to give them only these xylitol <laughs> products. Xylitol is a, oh, yeah. a Finnish sweetener invented in 1970s. And uh, it is uh, one of these functional uh, products because it prevents tooth decay.